Welcome YouTube, this is Acid Roots, I'm going to talk about Obi Trice's second album, Second Rounds on Me. Now with this thing was, was this is kind of almost like a pseudo secret Eminem album because he, ha he produces as many songs as he does. Obi Trice has, you know, some good skills as a musician and it's affiliated with people on the Shady Records label. So really, main thing is, is it's kind of a lesser known one. That's why I wanted to review this album. There were three singles released from this project, but they didn't really chart that high. 2006 was kind of a strange place for Eminem because a D12 member, Proof, had been killed and Eminem had gone through a divorce so he was having personal issues and didn't have that much in the year he did drop the re-up which is another something that I reviewed but we did get a full-fledged album of new material also so you know my recommendation if you don't if you don't recall as much Eminem seek this out along with the re-up two of which things now obviously it's not 2006 I'm aware of that but extra type stuff to get for shady records now obi trice is he kind of does things like if if you were to take the styles and mechanisms of eminem and put it in a different rapper you would kind of have obi trice he is not the same person of course but he there are some similarities that you can kind of sense depending upon the song that you look up the other thing is, he's a rapper from Detroit, Michigan, has had some rough times, did get shot, and, you know, has some street things to say on the project. So really, he was in the streets more so than Eminem, so if you're looking for a little bit something rougher, but also has that Shady Records gloss, this is definitely the one to go for. Now this is one of the final Shady Records releases up until the new, up until Eminem's resurgence, like in around 2011 or so. And you know, this is Obi Trice's final album with the label. So compared to the previous decade, this is one to get. 50 Cent is on this album. Akon is on this album. Eminem is on this album, and Nate Dogg is on this album. So there are some guests, usual crew running mates, but you know we're gonna get we're gonna dissect completely the songs that are the best. This album is not superb, but it is another surprise. I've been kind of trying to review a few of these as you know boosts and. Supposing you like Shady Records music and you support the label and that sort of thing, this is an album to boost that playlist up that much further. So, the singles, the, I think one of the singles was Snitch with Akon. He fares pretty well on the hook and it has a nice feel to it. This would be the song that I think... You know, had Obi Trice had another four or five of these, probably would have gotten him to about, you know, Paul Wall territory, something like that. But it, he, Obi Trice is really not charted extremely well. But, it, you know, the, the fact is that he did associate with Akon and it was in good terms. Another song that was released as a single was Jamaican Girl. This one is pretty thunderous, and I definitely recommend it. It's Obi Trice by himself, no hook, no guest artist. It, I think really you're going to like that one. I mean, it had, it, it's really good. Probably, I mean, it's not as much that there's like one best song. I would definitely go for the Akon song first. But you're going to notice a lot of these other songs I mentioned are pretty well put together also. 
Now Eminem, despite doing the production he does, is only on this album one time. It's on the song There They Go, so that's another one. There's 17 songs on this project, so this is yet another album to look at, or song to look at, and that, and you have it. So this is good stuff in the making. Now the songs to go for, there were five songs plus a sixth almost song, which is a song I'm still on the fence about. Uh, so here are the five songs. I'm going to walk over here. Five songs that you need to hear are Snitch, Jamaican Girl, There They Go, Violent, Everywhere I Go. Cry Now is the song I was on the fence about. So I've described two of the songs, Snitch and Jamaican Girl. Both of these are the ones to head for first. There They Go has Eminem on it. That's another one. Violent... I do feel like that one reminds me of an Eminem song, and it's. You, I think you're going to like that one. Everywhere I Go has 50 Cent on it. Now, I don't want people thinking that I'm just looking for the 50 Cent and Eminem songs to really judge. But the first, something to know is Eminem, if you look up the information on the internet... Eminem produces several songs on here, so if you're looking for Eminem beats to kind of, if that's something that attracts you, if you're like me and you see like a Swiss Beats beat and that makes you go for the song, well, Eminem produces on this album and it is quite a bit. It's more than he's done on a lot of other projects. So... That, that's for one thing, and like I was saying with what I said about Obi Trice, the problem with it is, is there is some personal songs on here, but when the, it feels as if a lot of these songs do not match up to what they need to. And the other thing... I mean, really, it's just about finding the correct beat and having the ability to make a radio song. So that's, it feels like half the time he's doing it for the hood, and the other half the time it, it shows no promise of anyone besides hardcore rappers listening to it. So really, this almost feels like, well, this is for fans. He does break free, and there are more than three or four times when this happens but I think a lot of people are going to look at the company of the project judging by it more in, he, I think in other words he needed more songs like Jamaican Girl and Violent now that that's like the best part there they go I mean it's not so much that he can't do the song Akon 50 Cent do hooks on here. Nate Dog, Trey songs, they do hooks on here. Obi Trice can do the songs. It's just a question of having the right atmosphere on the song that's going to make people, besides the hardcore, want to listen to it. That's what you're looking at. And so that, you know, I'm going to give this album, because I like six out of 17. I'm going to give this album a three and a half out, or I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four out of ten. And so the thing is, is that, you know, it's good to pick up because there are a secret batch of songs worth hearing, but it's just going to be a question of, you know, who's going to know what this music is. Most people are going to think, hey, that's an Eminem song, isn't it? But, uh... You know, no, it's Obi Trice. So, yeah, besides that, subscribe for more fun. Obi Trice drops, has dropped more albums. We'll see if we get to those. And social score, I will give this a three social because there were singles, but two of them, or one of them, did not work out as well, and none of them charted. So, that, that's that. Subscribe for more fun.